Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. For GIGO resident Judith Dorian and her seven-year-old son Carl Jude, a visit by acting Governor Ray Tenorio was a pleasant surprise. Just look and see, that cat, he said, is after me. I'm very glad, my son's very glad because he learned how to, uh, the way he reads with him, he's so happy and he really listens to him. That's a nice book that he read it to him. Carl Jude is one of a handful of kids currently in the pediatrics ward of the Guam Memorial Hospital. Along with meeting surgical unit staff and the medical telemetry unit, the acting governor says his visit was more than just a routine checkup. We're hoping that, you know, not just uh, visiting the, the people here, but really seeing firsthand the conditions here that, that patients and their families and the employees on a daily basis have to contend with. And while Tenorio says a few water leaks in the pediatrics ward compromises the integrity of the building, it was the infamous Z-Wing that warrants a call for an emergency. Look at this, the entire rebar is gone. The, and if that's true here, the odds are it's true inside as well. The entire piece of concrete literally just pulled off. Look at this. He says they need to act now before the situation gets even more serious. This is the Z-Wing that we need to invest in. This is going to allow for outpatient and other cares that we don't need to do in the emergency room and reduce the total cost and also create revenue for the hospital. So we have a shortfall of something in the range of about 20-something million dollars, 25 million dollars every year. We put the capital into the last bill, but the legislature refused to deal with it. So they deal with the stopgap measure. This thing will collapse at some point. The question is, do we control it and do it, or do we jeopardize the rest of the structure by not doing it? On July 22nd, Tenorio signed Substitute Bill 340 into law that would only allow for a $45 million loan and bond refinancing to pay GMH's vendors. The bill did not include the administration's proposal for $140 million in GMH improvements needed to fix the hospital's underlying problems. And while it's been nearly a year since the Z-Wing was evacuated, GMH Safety Administrator Jeffrey Ventura fears what could happen should an earthquake occur. As they make decisions with, with the money, I mean, they, they, they could see firsthand what, what, how we work. What do you say about the legislature appropriating the money to pay the vendors but not to allow for the capital improvements to be made on GMH? I would say in maybe three or four years, we'll be back in the same spot. And if you build the improvements here, would you generate the revenue to be able to offset the shortfall? It would give us a chance to start fresh, take care of ourselves. Tenorio, in the meantime, challenges senators, even going as far to say to have an oversight hearing on the governor's Bill 338 at GMH at the very same Z-Wing. I personally challenge each one of the senators to come out here and take a look at the uh, building here at Z-Wing and the inability to use this entire area and ask them to take a look at it. And then, like Judy Wanpat said in the last bill hearing, to tell us how non-germane it is. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.